Liquid Instruments was founded back in 2014 by a bunch of physicists from the Australian National University who had been working on the Laser Interferometer Space Antenna, or LISA. So you might remember a few years before that, uh, humanity detected gravitational waves for the first time. And we did that by shining some lasers up these big L-shaped uh, sensors stuck out in the desert around the world. And the way that they worked is that lasers would get split two directions, bounce off mirrors at the end, come back and interfere, and you measured the phase of, of that interference uh, in order to determine whether the two arms were shifting in length relative to each other, uh, which would indicate that space-time was being stretched and that a gravitational wave had passed through. Now, the trick with this is that you can't really tell the difference easily between space-time expanding and contracting and the laser frequency increasing and decreasing. The, the number of cycles in your laser is the thing that you're using, kind of like a ruler on space. So if your uh, laser is not stable, then you don't have this stable reference with which to measure the deformation of space-time. First of all, you can stabilize lasers, but you can never get them perfect. It does turn out, though, that the longer the arms of your interferometer are, the less that effect kind of matters. Um, and the better you're able to detect particularly low-frequency disturbances of space-time. So there is an ongoing operation to build LISA, the Laser Inter Interferometer Space Antenna, and to put these kind of interferometric gravitational wave detectors up in space on satellites. And this is the stuff that some of my uh, team here at Liquid Instruments were working on when they founded LI. This kind of technology has, has been uh, tested, it's been proven, and it's been proven on a set of satellites called GRACE. Now, the GRACE, in particular, the GRACE follow-on mission. So GRACE is a pair of satellites, shown in the slides here, and their job is to orbit the Earth one after the other, and as they go over different parts of the Earth, the pull of Earth's gravity causes them to speed up slightly and slow down, and as they speed up and slow down, they move slightly together and apart. So by measuring the distance between the two satellites in the convoy, you can tell something about how strong the gravitational field of the Earth is at that particular point. Now, you do this over and over again, not to get a more accurate picture of the static gravitational uh, pull of the Earth, but to see how that's changing over time, see how mass is moving around the surface of the Earth over time. Uh, really, the only reason that you'd want to do this is to track things like water. Water is the big thing, the massive thing, in the literal sense, that can actually move around the surface of the Earth. So when you see gravity moving, what you're talking about is actually water bodies moving. So with that, you can do things like track uh, how waterlogged the soil is, uh, how the glaciers and ice caps and things are melting, sea level changes, and so on. This was originally done using microwaves, but the version that's now flying uh, the GRACE follow-on mission is using laser interferometric methods and has incredibly high precision, high, high resolution, due to that use of very short wavelength lasers. So, both of those missions use lasers, measure phase, infer something about gravity, 